Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're reviewing this super duper bright LED floodlight by Unfuru. I think I'm saying that right. And basically this is really, really cool. It's so bright and it takes 150 watts. Now to get the same amount of lumens and light out of an incandescent bulb, you'd probably need 750 watts worth. So this is much smaller on the power consumption spectrum and it produces a ton of light. You could use this for around your house as a floodlight or you could use it as a, in a playground or probably even for a football game. This thing is very, very bright. RV, or RV users, if you wanted to use this as like a scare light or a work light so you could work on stuff at night if you had to, uh, you would have to get a little inverter because this does run on 120 volts AC power. In order to run it off of a car like I did last night when I was comparing it to my headlights on my Jeep to show you guys, um, I was actually able to run it off this little tiny power pack with just a 300 watt inverter and with a 300 watt hour battery. So this would run that light for about two hours, which is super cool. I was just walking around like the world's brightest flashlight with that making it portable uh, because I just installed a little plug on the light. It does not come with a plug. You have to wire it directly in to an AC source. But if you also wanted to run it off of, say, your RV, you would need an inverter. But this is a little 400 watt inverter that you can plug into a cigarette lighter. And this is 400 watts. The light is only 150. So this would easily run that um, if you did want to use it in that application. I will also show you the light itself just so you get an idea of how big this guy is. It is no joke and it is so bright. And you can move these any way you want. So you can go around the corners of your, of your house or whatever, or you can point all three of them out the front. And it also has a really nice honeycomb heat sink shape in the back. And that's gonna keep it nice and cool so it doesn't get too hot. Um, I loved using this guy. It is so incredibly bright, it's crazy. And you can move it to, I think it's a really good degree of uh, motion so you can cover your whole house or yard or whatever. And um, I will put an Amazon link down below if you're interested, it'll take you straight over to this guy. But in the meantime, why don't I show you just how bright this really is out in the field. So let's go check out some tests and see what this little guy can really do. Okay, so this is at my friend's house, his backyard here. You can see some twilight coming through the trees. And then what a difference. I just have this mounted about five, six feet up in a tree with one screw and it lights up his entire yard just beautifully. You can see everything, which is so cool. Now here in my yard, I do have some LEDs going on and I kind of turn the camera down a little bit um, just so you can kind of see the difference but if you're trying to spot an animal or look for something, it's no contest. And when I put my camera on regular, uh, this is kind of close to what I would see, and then boom, it just washes it out almost because it's so bright. And um, now I'm gonna take it and put it, you can see it being run by that little portable generator pack there and uh, just lighting up the entire forest. And then I'll put it on the edge of the table so we don't lose as much of that light and try it again. And it really throws light a really long way. Now here in my Jeep, believe it or not, these are my dim lights. And then this is the actual LED coming on. Let's switch to my brights. So those are my dims. These are my brights, headlights in the Jeep. And now look at the difference when compared to uh, this light coming on. And by the way, the camera is not gonna get it perfectly. I can see a little better than this, but it really does demonstrate how much brighter that LED light is. It's crazy. Here's my headlights on dim pointed into the forest in my Jeep and bam what a difference that is i mean you can light up the night here are my high beams in the jeep pointed into the forest and the led light that is just crazy difference okay so that thing is incredibly bright they say it puts out about 13,500 lumens um, which is crazy as a 6000k uh, light temperature which is a bright white light as you saw and it is ip66 waterproof so you can be used outside no problem, just mount it on the side of your house, you're good to go. Um, this thing is just crazy cool. I just wanted to play with it really. And um, you could use it in the garage or as a scare light or um, to play soccer. This thing is very, very bright. Uh, but the fact that it requires such a sl uh, small power draw means that I can actually use something like that little tiny generator and just walk around with it, which is crazy. Um, so I think it's really, really cool. Um, if you need that much brightness, they have different models with a single panel, double panel, triple panel. And I just went for the biggest, best one they had. But the price point is really, really affordable at like 49 bucks, I think. I'll put the Amazon link down below so you can check this guy out. But I am very, very impressed with how bright this thing is 
and it's very easy to install. So if you need some light, this might be something you want to consider. That about wraps it up. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you actually get notified when I do new videos. That really helps me out. Until the next time, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.